knowing that there are just so many people around you all the time that you can always rely on to help you. If it's um, needing help with homework or if you're not feeling well in the middle of the night, you know you can just go and wake up the person next to you and they'll be able to help you. So it's really nice living in a community like that. We have a real sisterhood between all the girls and the last five years together has just been amazing. Like we, we're all sisters and I think, um, I think it has been being able to make new friends and coming into boarding you just feel so welcome and you know if you ever need a hand with anything you've always got your sisters around you so yeah. Well I've been boarding for seven years now and the highlight of my boarding experience has definitely been the friendships because it's a sort of family bond that you really don't understand unless you're a part of it. Um, my highlight would be making such close relationships with such a diverse range of people. We have, we have girls from all over the world, not to mention mistresses as well. And yeah, you just learn so much from all those different people. It's, it's really great. My highlight is I came from doing homeschool, distance ed, from an isolated town of Erebanga to Glenny where I've had terrific interpersonal relationships with different girls and it's been an exciting experience. Well, being a boarder since year seven, it has really made me appreciate my parents a lot more and all the hard work that they've put into getting me to come here. And it's made me feel a lot more independent in like everyday life. Um, my highlight has been adapting to a new lifestyle and getting to experience things I probably would have never in my hometown. I think the advice I would give would be get to know everyone as well as you can because some of those people will probably become the most important people in your life for the next few years. Um, I would advise for any new boarders to take advantage of all the opportunities that Glennie has to offer because you'll really regret not getting to meet some of the girls outside of like what you're interested in. So when you first come, it's really nice to go and sort of get out of your comfort zone. Um, I would say is take the opportunities around you, like we have the pool just down there and we have the library, so seize every opportunity because it's just on your doorstep. My advice would be to keep as busy as possible and make new friends to make being away from family less difficult. My advice would be to make friends with girls in other grades as well because you'll find that they can really help you out in different situations if you need help with homework, they've done that work before they can help you, they've, you know, they've been through all the boarding experience before and yeah, you'll find that other girls can really, really help you in your experience. My advice is be true to who you are, don't be afraid to be outspoken and be open to new experiences. Um, I think come to boarding school open-minded and with a positive attitude. Um, I think it's important to bring in stuff from home that's going to make your room like really homely and don't forget flannelette sheets because it gets cold here in Toowoomba in winter. And make most of your time that you have because time flies. <laughs> that's a wrap. <laughs>